Hey, it's Chuck here, and we're back with another episode of Milton Daily Homes. And just as a quick update before we get started, if you want to come to the buyer class tonight, we run a little one on Thursday nights. There's still a couple spots left, so you can, all you need to do is just go to the site, just go off to the right there, come to a buyer class, fill in your information for tonight. I'll call you and email you back, give you directions, all that stuff. So we have eight listings today. First one up is 1080 Clark Boulevard. It's a Lindbrook, 1,500 square feet, 332, three-bedroom, three-washroom with a finished basement. Now, because the market is so uh, intense right now, there's a lot of action, they, people tend to forget that this home is on a busier street. I remember the days of the balanced market, and people would just cut you down if you were on Clark. So it's not too bad of a street, but... It can get busy. So you've got, it uh, looks like laminate floors here. That is the first room when you come in the house. Okay, so some people don't like having the dining separate. You can use this as a, uh, a reading room sometimes. Kitchen, done some backsplash there. Um, Eat-in kitchen, obviously. Okay, so bedrooms are all good size in this one. That's a shot of the basement. And then when you go over to the side, you see that there's actually a little home theater set up. So kind of neat downstairs. I don't believe this comes with the home, but I do think that it's a pretty cool idea. And the yard is sort of a standard 28 by 80 foot lot. So 332, it's not bad. It doesn't throw me. It also doesn't dissuade me. I think that it's sort of, they priced it right where they need it to be. Okay, so 323 Racy Trail. This is the Chuck pick of the day. Really nice street, nice neighbors. I have some clients on Racy Trail. Uh, three bedroom, two, three washroom. All the bedrooms are good size. It's I think it's around 1,900 square feet. Nine foot ceilings on the main. Hardwood floors. Really, really nice. Nice setup here. An open concept. You see how the kitchen opens up to the uh, to the room there. Lots of, of uh, counter space. There's a real functional kitchen here. You've got pot drawers right there. Very, very nice breakfast bar. They've done a chair rail. Looks like a little bit of molding on the top there. Um, not a big fan of the colors in the bathroom. I don't know about greeny blue kitchens, but anyhow, all the rooms are, are really good size. They've done a little wood deck. Really nice. Big fan of this one. So anyhow, the uh, 378 Williams Avenue, okay, 369, it's three bedroom, two washroom, and just have a look through some of the pictures here, it looks like an Eden kitchen right there, uh, decent size, okay, so you've got, also got a decent size lot, kind of an interesting retro effect here, I think this all works together, I think it, it's not offensive, I think it really, it, you know, works well within the space, and there's a shot of the yard, it looks like that's the backyard, now the front actually, would uh, now I know Google Maps are sometimes a little bit off, but I think it would be one of these homes in this area around here, and uh, and that's Milton District High School. So you're going to get a little bit of the typical stuff of being close with a high school, um, which isn't generally a huge deal. But uh, it looks like they've also done some work. The roof in 2006, the high efficiency furnace. That's good to see. I like seeing stuff like that. 1661 Clark 409. And we've got the uh, nice little area here with the rounded entrance. You've got the moldings all around. This is the living dining that they've converted to mostly kind of a sitting area with a, with a TV. They've converted the family room to a dining area. And you can see the fireplaces here. This is typically where people have couches and TVs. And the kitchen over here. Now they've added this island. That's not a standard thing. And the kitchen can be a little bit small. They have done a nice job with the cupboards. They've done a nice job with the backsplash. Um, nice colors here. So very clean, very well kept. Uh, nice yard here. If you don't like to mow grass, this is the home for you. You get a little bit close to James Snow. I find Clark and James Snow can get a little bit congested. And, uh, and it's just nonstop there. Uh, overall, 1,800 square feet, four bedroom, three washroom, Lindsay model, not too bad. I mean, some there's models that are almost the same size as this selling for, you know, 420, 425. So I think they did a good job pricing it. 165 Dixon, uh, 469.9. Now this one may be pretty close to the uh, the new school there as well, St. Peter's, but it's a four bedroom, four washroom. Done some work outside, definitely. Uh, nice private yard. And so the kitchen's okay. I mean, there's a lot of half walls in this home. They've done some upgrades with the glass corner. They've done the uh, the backsplash. Uh, there's a half wall there, and it looks like it opens up to some more half wall stuff around here. That's the family area. Front living dining, okay, plus a finished basement, okay? So you're still getting only a single car garage. There's a lot of double garages in this area. Um, 
50 by 105 lot with uh, with the size it has it's well over 2,000 square feet I think they priced it really well actually this this might be a chuck pick this is a really really good one June 7th uh, 2010 June 7th 2010 important date I would assume for the sellers uh, they did I saw some California shutters in there too which is again nice 858 Cousins Terrace 538 this is a Scotswood model and they've really done a very modern look to this they've done some neat upgrades here um, nice colored cabinets. They've done the backsplash, granite countertops. Uh, everything is very modern, undermount, sink. This is how the kitchen uh, overlooks the family. You've got pot lights in here. Um, a lot of these sort of designer lights and things like that. Uh, this is neat too. If you look at all the, uh, the wainscoting that they did, just beautiful. In this room, all wainscoting, very formal. Some people might think it's too formal. I think it's great. Nine foot ceilings, uh, very nice space here. And this part of Cousins, I believe, doesn't back on to any neighbors. So very good stuff here. I think that uh, they might be a little bit aggressive with price, but I also think they got a lot of upgrades in here that are really, really good, and they could really pull someone in. Um, I do like it a lot. I think it's it's uh, move-in ready, absolutely. 873 Bessie Trail. So this is a Mannington corner, priced 10000 above the other one. And so it's a corner lot. It uh, usually has a lot of windows, a lot of light that comes into the home Four bedroom, three washroom. It looks like they've done hardwood floor, ceramic backsplash, gas fireplace, all that kind of stuff. The hardwood staircase, laundry on the second level, nine foot ceilings. They've got all the pieces in here. Um, price is okay. It doesn't blow me away. I'd like to see the pictures of this one, but so far I'm seeing things that are really, really good. I think it compares well to the uh, the previous one. And 1553 Rickson, this is a relist. 559 they brought the price down the pictures still aren't great I, I beat them up last time over all the stuff on the counters and the kitchen that's not a bad shot there a little bit old-fashioned furniture but you got to get some of this stuff out of the kitchen you got to really give it clean simple appearance nice tall cabinets backsplash you got to show that stuff off all right so the, there's the family room um, this is called a, a ha halt whistle, half whistle for Mattamy. It's under 3,000 square feet, and uh, and they've got a finished basement too. So the pieces are there. This is a 56-foot lot, whereas the previous two were 46-foot lots. So uh, there's some value there, definitely. So um, that is it for today. And just like I said in the beginning, if you want to come to a buyer class, you got to let us know really soon. Come by two hours. I promise it will be the best two hours you ever spend looking for a home. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye.